I was stimulated by it because it was so urgent and so necessary, even more so than in America. For black people all over the world, whether it's America, whether it's in Africa, and here in Australia, uh, there are very significant changes are uh, occurring. Through Juilliard and in the ballet, I had developed a very strong technique, but I didn't have that soul. The human body, any human body, has a way of talking. I can tell what state a person is in by the way the person is moving, and, but I might not understand that person's language. LAO believed very much that steps didn't matter, that a dance had to say something and had to challenge people's thinking. Aboriginal Islander skills development scheme. So people wouldn't know that there was a guerrilla war going on underneath that. And when Carol then put it in little tiny letters underneath, careers in dance, and they were thinking, traditional dances, you know, that'll be fine. I think this is a sea. It's been born. I was just another black sister or black cousin or black sister, usually they would say, but, and so it, it, it felt right. I felt, felt a part. I think people like to move. I mean, if just doing the disco and the hip hop, moving together, you create a rapport. You can't, you, you can fight, but, and that's something else. But when you dance, you, you're, you're sharing. Your, your, your physicality, your person. It just hit me straight in the face, you know, you're a dancer. You gotta do it, and you gotta live, eat, and sleep dance. And I love it, it's in my blood now, I can't get rid of it. Carol Johnson is my mentor. She's my mother, she's my sister. It took someone to come from overseas, but she had the blueprint. We had the opportunity to make uh, political statements that are not quite as threatening as if you say it with words. It doesn't come out necessarily as an attack. But now, would you please welcome them to Midday, the Aboriginal Islander Dance Theatre Company. If you were at any of the other dance companies, like maybe a, a Sydney dance company. You could just come in and be who you were, and this is what you want to do. And people would say, okay. But this is like, the Aboriginal people are gonna do what? They're gonna do, huh? You're joking. Those images were not going away. There were still people writing things, everything they could find something negative to say about any Aboriginal organization, they did. Oh, they've probably been stealing money. Uh, they're, they're incompetent, they, you know, they, she had to fight all of that. White people change, and they're constantly changing and not allowing the black and the Aboriginal people to develop their things. Once they start developing it and it gets successful, then they try to, they chop it away. She's blunt. Sometimes it can be a little bit painful. I mean, we can all go into business, you know, into owning shops and everything, but I think it's through the arts is the only way that we're gonna educate, you know, Australia. That's the way they're gonna accept us as, as a race. And there's a beautiful race with a funky bass. No, I get it. Right? Two didgeridoo people come, and that's Matthew and Larry. I said to her, Carol, you know, just walk away. You cannot stay here. You, you've got to go. You can't keep trying to run this thing. It has to be in Aboriginal hands. And I think that hurt her feelings really, really bad. In fact, she told me it did. And, I, and I've always been sad about doing that to her. I really...
the darkest hour for me. I, I, I don't, I don't know. It was always a struggle, so there were, weren't dark hours. What was the darkest hour? I really can't say. I know people. Hmm. When Carol left NASDA, uh, it was time to leave. It was really clear it was time to leave. And like I said, someone standing up screaming, I hate African Americans, I was out of there within days practically. To make fire, yes! Um, to make fire, that's Van Guerra, to make fire. Oh, Carol said, find a name for this new company. She's gonna, she said, come join me for one more thing. And I went, okay. She always wanted there to be the touring company, always. That was, you know, the, the, the overall plan was the community coming in, the dancers going out to the community, the, the dancers uh, going out to the world, the world coming to the dancers. She, she never saw something small. It had to be that big.